Welcome to my guide on how to make the Shazian basic agility course as easy as possible. First off, for the requirements, you will need either a client of Koran Quest completed or a Watson teleport scroll which you can buy from the Grand Exchange for 10,000 coins. So if you are a main account, you can just buy the teleport and you'll be fine. If you're an iron or hawker iron player, you will have to do the quest, along with having five agility. Now, if you are an iron, you'll want to make your way to the northeastern dock of the Port Serum area, which is just west of Draenor Village. Once you're here, you can right click Vios and either go to Port Piscularis or Lands End. And prepare for a run of your life because it's going to be a ton of running. So, cross the game plank and we'll be going west. Not just a little west. You want to go so much west that you pass the kingdom and then make your way to the Shazian encampment. And then you want to make your way to this icon right here. However, like I said earlier, if you do have a Watson teleporter, you can actually buy for the exchange and then teleport it right away without any requirements. This will put you right here, which is a lot less running. So, once you're at the Watson teleport, run west. If you are interested, I will be planning to rework pretty much most of the rooftop courses making them as less click intensive as possible meaning that let's say I click here maybe I was able to line up the next agility course obstacle correctly so that I won't even have to move the mouse at all making it somewhat AFK depending on your peripheral vision so you could let's say watch TV or Netflix or even if I'm somehow able to do the whole course without moving the mouse, this will make agility so much easier. An example of that is I was able to three click the ball up in each agility course guide. So if that is in something you're interested in, please subscribe and expect to get that in maybe, maybe about two weeks because I'll be going guides through like five agility, 10, 20, 40, I'll be going in order. First off, some very important things to note is the tile markers. This is on the Runelite plugin. You want to hold the shift button, right click on your mouse, and mark tile. You want to mark the tile, the two tiles west of the northern gate, two tiles west of the south gate and again I'm just right here at the Shazian encampment and just make your way to this icon if you don't know where I am another spot is this one you might need to change the camera angle a little but it's just north of the towers east I guess a little leg stand or something you can call this there's one other tile to mark and that will be climbing up the ladder Cross the monkey bars. Cross the tightrope. Run here to the little corner. Run here to the corner. And then go two tiles north. You want to, again, right click shift and mark that tile. Now we'll just do the agility course as intended. So, climb the bar. Do not go to the west, although you won't be able to, because that is the level 48 version of the course. Meanwhile, this is just the level 5 course. One thing last to note is that you can do this method on any of the client layouts. 
which is just in your settings. Although, for the future reference, I will always be doing resizable classic. Classic to modern it doesn't really have much of a difference. It just removes the need from your inventory and stuff if you like double click and stuff. So that if you ever need to click on the southeastern area, you'll be able to. But again, I like to do classic. So it gives this little nice lookout for right here. Click on, click on the compass because it will always put you in this angle. And then you could zoom out, zoom in a little bit. And then now I already have tile markers enabled. Well, not tile markers, I have the Epic Pen program enabled. If you have tile markers or screen markers, thanks to the rune line, this is actually not good because, well, actually, I can't even find my markers. Oh, there we go. Look at the one to the left you should see a little purple and look at this position when i hide the tile markers it changes the screen a little bit in which case this is why i don't like the rune light plugin for the tile markers because it's not exact so put a dot right here pretty much almost all the way to the east of the cross rope i mean the tight rope and put the dot there and now we click. Keep the mouse in position. Don't move it. It should line up with the next course. So I'll click that. And then if you are a little off, you'll actually notice that this green, well, this blue dot, is at the very tip of the click box. So that is a very easy way to know that you're right there. And again, poof. Now one more thing to note is that after every single course, you will either need to step southwest or Northeast, although I always suggest you to do Northeast because it always gets this in the exact spot. So because of that, you want to put a dot pretty much about on that little plank, as you do see, that I do have marked, and we want to click there. Once you start running, click again. You'll end up in that same tile I earlier marked, and then voila, your camera angle will be on climb ladder. Now that those two markers are correct, we'll start working on the first two. This first one, you want to put it on the first bottom metal monkey bar icon. So put the little dot there. You may need to edit it a little bit later. This next one, it doesn't really matter because this is the only like tightrope option to the west. Now we go back to that first tile marker. If the tile marker is not in the box that's marked, you are in the right spot because when you click it, you will not actually run to that tile. You'll run two tiles north of it, meaning your mouse should be automatically in the climb bar option, as you did see. Now we go to the third click box, it will be on the tight rope. And remember, this part you're able to just AFK it if you do have good peripheral vision again. So once that's done, voila, and then again, don't move the mouse. It should line up accordingly, like that. Now, again, after every single course, just go northeast, southeast to be in the exact same tile, and then just go to that very first dot. As for the experience rates, again, this is not the best experience rates for level 5 agility because there's a better AFK version at level 1. If you are interested, put down a comment down below and or 
like the video so that I know that people would be interested in more guides like this to make agility much easier. But anyway, as for the XP rates, at level 5 agility, you can expect to fail a couple of times, in which case you're able to get 5,586 agility. I did not do this based on my agility level. I did this, I made a new account, I did this at 5 agility, and then I did this for about 2 hours worth, which, yes, was inefficient, but I was able to find the average amount of laps I was able to do in an hour. With that, thank you all so much for watching this guide on how to make agility as easy as possible for the Shazian basic course. And again, I will be doing the other rooftop courses, so make sure to smack that subscribe button and enjoy the rest of the day.